Hi everyone, my name's Cheryl Hurst. I'm an independent snapping up demonstrator here in Sydney, Australia. How are you? What a lovely Wednesday. Um, today I've got, I'm using the stamp set Silly Goose because I wanted to make a birthday card. I'm going to use this one and a Silly Goose told me it's your birthday. I'll be using that stamp set and I'm going to be using the deckled triangles and these are the two I'm using. That's for the white and it's for pumpkin pie. I thought I'm going to use a colour that I don't use very often. So what colours are the cardstock that you don't go to? It's not one of my go-to colours, but I'm going to do it. Okay, I've got... Um, this is basic white thick for my card. All the details for the card is down, um, downstairs, I was going to say, is um, down below. And I have the Australian A4 measurements, well, the rest of the world A4 measurements, and I have the US and Canada measurements as well, because our cards are different. You can see it, we're, we're like hamburg um, we're like hot dogs, and your guys are like hamburgers to us. I'm going to be using the Brights Designer Series paper. Okay, and I've pulled out this colour, I've already cut it out just to make it easier. So I've got pumpkin pie, got the pumpkin pie DSP, and I've already used the cut and boss machine and I've cut out those two. So let's start, I'll put those aside. Oh, sorry, I'm going to use Memento Black, going back to the black and white gingham. I think that's my favourite. I've gone through a couple rolls of this. I'm glad that they it's back in the end of the catalog. Dimensionals, tear and tape, and your adhesive by choice. It could be the the seal, seal plus, or the multi purpose glue, whatever you want. At the moment I'm a seal person. Yeah, always your bone folder, scissors, whatever you need. And also pumpkin pie dark blend and I've got granny apple dark so here's my let me just get the memento out and this is a bit big for my hand and I know that I'm going to drop it so I just tip it upside down and I just stamp all over got it nicely stamped and I'm just going to put the the goose down here without rocking it so there you are and I'm just going to put the sentiment on this card I just thought I'll just put it on the card here the silly goose told me it was your birthday and there you are I've got a bit of ink there I'll fix that up later I'll just use a, a sanding brush and I'll get rid of that so there you are, I've got that. And I'm going to get the pumpkin pie. I'm just using the bullet end. And I'm going to do his feet, or her feet. Its feet. And it's beak or bill. Probably should have waited until it dried a little bit. So there you are. It does fade a bit once the alcohol goes. I'm going to use the bullet end. You can use the brush end, but my brush end is not in a good state. But um, I'll just use the bullet end. Bigger areas I like to use the brush, but um, my brush is not very well at the moment been abused and I'm just going to do that and just do a little bit green there they're not a great deal of color but just those things my goose is going to be white so now I'm going to bring that size in I'm going to turn that over and I'm just going to glue that piece on and I'm going to glue the DSP. 
so hard for me to do that, okay? I love polka dots. But I wanted the stripe this time, and I'll show you why. So I've done the dots on my sample. And now, I'm just gonna put a bit of ribbon just to add a little bit of extra there. Get your snips, trim it, tear and tape. Let's tear a piece off or cut it. I like to cut mine. Don't ask me why, but I just do. Okay, now I'm just while it's down, I'm just going to put some little seal in here. And I'm just going to place that on there. Now I'm going to get the dimensionals. And one in the middle to support it. Now I just take those off. It's a very simple, easy card and I think it's effective. You don't want to be mucking around when you've got a, quite a few to make. Or even if you've only got one to make, it's quite good. And I think it's effective. So we've got that. I think it looks cute. And now where do I put them? I'm going to use the iridescent rhinestones. I'm going to get a big one. I might actually put the big one. That probably will cover up just nicely there. And I might put one there, get a smaller one, and put it over there. So there's this card. And I, of course, I had to do it in the dots, the polka dots. So thank you very much. Um, oh, sorry, before I go, I always forget. I have the annual catalogue. If you don't have a demonstrator here in, in Sydney or anywhere in Australia and um, you'd like one, I'm happy to send it out to you. Just email, email me your address details and I'll send it to you. While we have only a few more days left of the starter kit, so if you're thinking of spending more than $169, you don't have to. Most, actually, more all my team are hobby, and I'm happy to have them here. We have great crafting. So um, the starter kit is $169. You get to spend $283, so that's $114 free product. And um, come and join the party. And that's till the 30th of June. Um, here we've got the online exclusives. You can put that in your starter kit, but this is for demonstrators. Can order these two. Otherwise, customers can order the whole lot with the rest of us. What's new? We don't know everything. What's on the the new um, exclusives? But it looks like there's a little truck somewhere I saw, and um, looks quite good as a punch. Because you know me, I love punches. So that would be the 6th of July. We've got the Boho Beach Kit coming. Oh, it's sorry, not coming. It's available. It's coming to my house when I'm filming that. So I'll show you that once I get it. And also to the 30th of June, we have the 15% off the DSP. And I've bought, ordered a whole heap of that as well. So I won't be running out. Because this will last until it's about, you know, it will be... About, um, available but also current until April next year so think about that as well okay and um, thank you very much and have a wonderful day muttering along here aren't I okay must be must be a cup of tea time see you later bye <laughs>